Hey everybody, Electronics Tech here. I'm working on uh, this Dell power supply. Uh, I took it out of the computer I found at the curb and uh, I wanted to convert it to a power supply that uh, operates my uh, electrolysis machine to uh, to remove rust. And uh, so what this is, it's a, it's a Dell uh, model NPS dash 200 PB dash 123A and it's only 135 watt power supply but uh, I found that uh, with Dell they have their own proprietary uh, uh, power connector like that 20 pin uh, power connector on this ATX power supply is different than a conventional one and uh, their color codes are different because with uh, a conventional uh, computer power supply you can just short uh, a green lead and uh, ground together and uh, it'll, it allows you to run the power supply outside of the computer so you can uh, you could put banana jacks on it and uh, use it like a, like a bench supply but uh, with this one uh, because it's a Dell uh, it uses a gray wire uh, for the uh, the power supply good uh, signal and uh, you have to short the gray wire to ground which is a black wire and also uh, not only that but uh, in addition to that you have to have a load on it or it, uh, it still won't start up so what I did here was uh, I just put uh, a power resistor on it. It's a 100 ohm uh, 10 watt uh, ceramic power resistor and uh, you just put that across the 12 volt line 12 volt out output line and also uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah I, I've wired uh, a switch into it so basically what I did was I drilled out the front of the, the power supply case I put in a toggle switch and it's just an on off switch and that on off switch goes to each uh, lead goes to the gray and the black wires so all it's doing is it's shorting together the gray and the black together through the switch to uh, to turn the power supply on and uh, I just have it out uh, with these uh, temporary uh, test leads on it just to make sure everything works and I also have a uh, this uh, amber LED here with a heat shrink. I haven't heat shrink shrunk it yet because I just want to make sure that uh, everything's working properly. And I tapped off the uh, the 3.3 volt line, which is a, a blue for Dell. It's a blue wire with a white stripe on it, and uh, I put that to the positive side of the LED and uh, the black. Uh, ground wire to the, the negative side. For a LED, uh, anode is positive and and uh, cathode is negative. And also you can tell by looking at an LED, there's a flat edge right on uh, on the side. It's hard to see in this camera, but uh, uh, yeah, there's there's a round there's a round area around the bottom part here, and then there's like a, a a slight flat spot. And that flat spot is the uh, minus side. So I just put the black wire onto that flat spot. So I'll just uh, just have it all all apart now, uh, just to try it out to make sure it works. And then uh, I'm going to uh, wire this power resistor inside, and uh, probably tie wrap it inside, and uh, and use heat shrink tubing, and make sure everything is. Uh, safe and uh, secure and uh, but I'm just going to carefully uh, turn this on with this toggle switch I have here it's hard to see because uh, I have it positioned so uh, I can actually uh, get it to work uh, and nothing shorts out because it's very it's very uh, tightly packed power supply so I'll just turn it on and there's the fan going and it's showing that it's uh, it actually has turned on and uh, 
Also, here is the uh, amber LED. So I have a hole drilled in the front case for the for this LED to go in there. So I'll just uh, heat shrink the tubing on this and uh, put some hot melt glue in there to hold it inside and have it uh, press through the uh, the outside case. So that's uh, a project that I have been working on, and uh, I've just been rewiring this and. Uh, Doing stuff with the uh, the circuit board, like uh, using soldering iron and stuff, and desoldering different things, and trying different uh, methods. And uh, I found finally found out how to do it because I was wondering how Dell actually uh, uh, works uh, to uh, make the the power supply work. So that's it. Anyway, thanks. Bye.